Hey everybody, you're watching Robot Rallis, otherwise known as Luca Sharaska, and today I want to talk about this very strange tweet, and it is actually somehow related to Magic the Gathering, even though it's tweeted by the National Republican Senatorial Committee, which even has the gray check mark, which means somebody was paid at Twitter headquarters to verify that these people are in fact related in some way to some sort of governmental entity or like group. And the thing that they have tweeted is very strange. It's a repost of an article by some asshole whose name is over here in this tab. We'll get to him in a minute. But I'm just going to read off the caption for you, and we're going to go from there. Nerd alert! Democratic Senate candidate Lucas likes Magic the Gathering, was first male cheerleader at Yale. And you might be thinking to yourself, Luca, this sounds like something that like a 10-year-old Redditor might say. It sounds like what someone would say if their hobbies included giving wedgies and shoving geeks into trash cans. And you'd be right. Whoever it is that they have running this account seems to be someone who enjoys uh, kicking puppies and stealing lunch money. And inside of the replies, they are rightfully getting roasted by basically every person that managed to see this tweet. As you can see here, George W. Bush was also a male cheerleader. Being a male cheerleader isn't like you're wearing a short skirt and you're going out there dancing and showing your ass to the players. They're they're doing things. It's just a it's just a college extracurricular activity. It's just a thing people do, and it's not associated with femininity or masculinity unless you're a fucking baby. So grow up. Also, this guy, the actual guy, is here in the comments looking absolutely fantastic in college with a great physique and then re just straight up posting about his magic the gathering hobby you can see a dual land here this is an uncut sheet it looks like or maybe it's not and the guy's just fucking loaded and really loves the game either way this isn't a cringe moment the guy just has a passion for a hobby which is something that i don't know any senators uh have i i i feel like he might just be a bad senator based on that because it looks like he actually enjoys his life and that's not something you're allowed to do uh <laughs> Also, this guy, Lucas, he's a 13-year Marine veteran that served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Might I add that he also has real policy positions that are in his bio? He has things you can criticize about him in his bio. If you are a Republican and you're looking to criticize this man, there are actual issues at hand. His beliefs are informed or, or do inform his politics, and he has politics that those republicans don't like and those are the things you should probably be posting about instead of whether or not he played college football and whether or not he plays a card game the article proper is over here and it's even more strange first of all this website free beacon advertises it itself as covering the enemies of freedom the way the mainstream media won't. And you know what? I agree. The mainstream media doesn't call people nerds for playing card games and laugh at them for engaging in extracurricular activities at Ivy League colleges. The mainstream media doesn't do that because it's stupid and no one cares. People are past the 8th grade. No one gives a shit about this stuff. And the actual writing in the article makes this even worse than the headline implies. Because the actual flow of it is like this. It feels like he's pretending that there's an audience around him asking these questions. And there isn't. Even this retweet uh, of the article here has, what, like 300 likes? Of over 1.3 million views and just a couple hundred likes. So, God, I'm, I'm just going to read a little bit of it for you to see how, uh, let you know how I'm reading this. And he's a massive nerd, right? Asks the audience. Absolutely, says the author. How so? Asks the captivated audience. He plays Magic the Gathering, replies the author. Seriously? Asks the enthralled audience, guns to their head, unable to leave the seats. 
The family's threatened if they do not continue asking these stupid questions no one gives a shit about? Yes. Check out this Twitter thread from February in which he asks other nerds for advice about one of his decks or whatever. Who fucking cares? This is so pointless. Nobody gives a shit about these things. I am a writer. I am a writer for three different places. And I can tell you that sometimes an article's just not there. And if the article's not there, you don't just bullshit it like it's a college essay. You just do another topic. You message your editor and you say, Hey, I don't think there's enough here for a real article. And I don't want to fluff it because I have the tiniest bit of integrity. You don't just talk about stupid bullshit that no one gives a shit about. Especially not the actual Republican that are reading these articles care about no one gives a shit about this my republican friends and family members care about whether or not a candidate wants to increase certain taxes whether or not they want to fund certain school programs how much infrastructure is getting paid for and and repaved roads and things like that and military spending they don't give a shit if Pete Buttigieg had, like, a cribbage hobby in high school. They don't care if Donald Trump was in the 4-H club. They care about actual things. But you have people like this, and then actual government-led political entities and organizations and people reposting it as if anyone fucking gives a shit. What has happened to our society? All right, that that's that's all I've got. I'm... I spent about 10 minutes laughing at this, and I wanted to get my thoughts out, and I've got my thoughts out. This will probably be the dumbest thing I see all month, and I'll probably think about it a little bit more tomorrow, but I really hope I don't, because it's really, really stupid, and it does not matter, and if this guy fades into the the, <laughs> the sundown and, and never comes back and, and never achieves political victory... The idea that th this will be the thing that did him in is uh, a, a joke. He'll probably lose his race because he's running in Missouri and he's a Democrat. That's why he's going to lose. No one cares about his Magic the Gathering hobby or him being a cheerleader at Yale. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Please consider subscribing if you like my stupid unhinged rants about nothing things like this. Or if you just want to dunk on Senate Republicans in the National Republican Senatorial Committee. Because uh, I, I like it. And if they make another stupid tweet like this or I see something just as hilarious, I might make a video about that too. Uh, have a nice day, everybody.